So Joe Rogan went on retired UFC fighter, I believe his name's Tim Kennedy's podcast, and somehow the topic got brought up, or maybe Rogan himself just flat out stated that he would be willing to moderate a presidential debate between current President Donald Trump and the Democratic nominee Joe Biden, former VP in the Obama administration, and looks like Trump, uh, <laughs> at least uh, you know on Twitter, on social media, is claiming that he would be ready and willing to participate in that debate. And <clears throat> so basically what Rogan said here, um, the host of the Joe Rogan Experience, a popular podcast series, pitched the idea on a podcast hoped hosted by retired UFC fighter Tim Kennedy. Kennedy tweeted about the idea during the weekend, describing how Rogan, quote, offered to moderate a debate between the former Vice President Joe Biden and the president that would be four hours with no live audiences, just the two candidates and their visions of having to move this country forward. He wrote, who wants this? Trump tweet retweeted that. <clears throat> tweet from Tim Tim Kennedy and said I do. Let's see. Um, the president was on an early morning Twitter spree when he made the comments on Monday amid attacks against his Democratic opponent's vice presidential pick Kamala Harris, who called a super liberal whack job. I wish Kamala Harris was super liberal. She's she's not. I would love it if her or Joe Biden was the radical leftists that uh, the right and Trump etc like to paint them with that brush as being that would that would be amazing you know if they actually supported policies that a vast majority of Democrats supported which I mean even a majority of independents and a good chunk of Republicans support things like you know Medicare for all tuition free college canceling student loan debt tackling climate change etc. Living wage. Right, get out of here. Um, let's see. There are at least three presidential debates scheduled to take place ahead of election day, including one on September 29th, followed by two in October. Meanwhile, uh, Pence and Harris have one. Let's see. I mean, that would be really... And then I guess... Uh, Rogan said he'd want to live stream the whole thing, so nothing, I guess, could be, um, you know, taken out of context. Um, I would be very surprised if Joe Biden agreed to this, um, just because I guess Kyle Klinsky was talking about how all of these other Democratic nominees at the time we're trying to get on Joe Rogan's podcast, but he, you know, really only wants to talk to people he's interested in. So he had on Andrew Yang, he had on Tulsi Gabbard, and he had on uh, Bernie Sanders. And, you know, it sounds like maybe Harris, Booty Judge, probably Biden at the time or his team tried to get on Joe Rogan's podcast and Joe Rogan didn't want to have them on because he wasn't frankly interested in having a conversation with them. So I'd be kind of surprised at this point if Biden and his, his team agreed to that. Additionally, the fact that Biden uh, and you know and his his handlers are basically running a campaign of limited exposure, trying to keep you know Biden under wraps, keeping him in his basement, limiting his amount of media appearances, debate appearances, etc., because they, you know, correctly, you know, calculated that the less Joe Biden is in the public side, the less he is having to answer questions in a debate, other media appearances, etc., the better it's it's going to be. So I would doubt that they would want to have him go on Rogan's podcast four hours to debate Donald Trump. And, I mean, that one debate he had against Bernie, that was kind of the sharpest we've seen Biden this whole, um, you know, campaign season. I don't, I don't know what kind of 
drugs or whatever they pumped him full that night, but he was pretty alert, pretty coherent, was able to string together a couple of, you know, sentences and just wasn't super, just super out of it as, as he often appears these days, which is just really, frankly, really sad. It just definitely appears there's some type of problem with his, um, you know, cognition and speech, and yet they propped him up anyways, and it's just, um, just sad, frankly, it's really sad that they, and that the Democratic establishment would prop up Joe Biden, somebody who clearly has some type of, um, you know, <laughs> problems with speech, problems with memory, problems forgetting where he is, who he's with, instead of Bernie Sanders, the candidate who would have absolutely killed Trump in the debates, killed Trump in this election, because he actually provides people with a reason to support and vote for him, and people supported and voted and canvassed and donated and made calls, made texts for Bernie because of the policies. Joe Biden does not have that going for him, as well as the very serious and sad cognitive decline as well. So I think, I mean, Trump isn't no Rhodes Scholar either, but I still think he's a little bit, at least a little bit sharper than Joe Biden, and he would perform, I think, uh, decently better than Biden during a four-hour live stream <laughs> debate uh, between him and Joe Biden, moderated by Joe Rogan. Um, so no live audience, and I would just think about the 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 type of questions that Rogan <laughs> would throw out during this. You know, he would bring up legalizing drugs. Uh, he's a big supporter of universal health care. I think he'd grill them on that issue. Um, who knows, like the military industrial complex, I think he would bring that up. He's, um, you know, Edward Snowden, Julian Assange, I bet he would bring up that stuff too, because he's actually interviewed Edward Snowden uh, before and I think um, just the type of unconventional questions that Rogan would ask would be hugely, hugely entertaining. And I bet Rogan wouldn't necessarily like provide a list of questions or topics he would be talking or asking them, you know, to discuss, give their opinions on during this four hour live stream. It would just be totally, totally off the cuff. Maybe Rogan would even you know, spark spark a joint at some point or, or crack some beers or whatever and see if he could get them, both of them to, you know, smoke a joint on, on camera. That would be that would be pretty interesting, especially considering that uh, Joe Biden doesn't think marijuana should be legalized because more studies need to be done. So I doubt it would happen because, again, I just don't think Biden and his team would agree to this, especially since Rogan didn't want to have Biden on his podcast previously, as well as the fact that, again, Biden's campaign is running that with the idea of limiting Biden's exposure as much as possible in a four-hour live debate hosted by Joe Rogan. I think that wouldn't go very well, so... Trump agrees, and maybe he's just saying that because he knows Biden wouldn't agree, or maybe he actually would go through with that. I think, frankly, he, he probably would because he says, like, well, Rogan's hugely popular. This was four hours. I think it could outperform Biden. I think this would be a boost, you know, to my already massively inflated ego, et cetera, et cetera. So, so who knows? If this would happen, uh, that would be amazing though and i think it would be one of the biggest watched uh debates probably in presidential history uh frankly um what are your thoughts do you think this would happen if so who would perform better would you watch it why or why not peace